Today, I'm making my no-bake raspberry cheesecake dessert parfaits. I start out with a salty crust. I have a creamy raspberry cheesecake filling. Top everything off with a fruity raspberry jello. They're really easy to make. Let me show you how. I'm gonna start things off by preparing my custard. So into a small bowl, I'm gonna drop in my egg yolks, a little bit of sugar, and a splash of vanilla. Just give this a quick whisk until it's nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna move on to my cream. Into my saucepan, I'm gonna pour in my cream and I'm gonna add some flour. Grab my whisk and just combine all this together. And I'm gonna cook this over medium heat for just a few minutes until this mixture starts to thicken. And I'm gonna keep whisking it to make sure that the flour doesn't clump together with the cream. And now I'm gonna start adding it to my custard. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time and whisk it after each addition. I'm gonna cook my custard over low heat for about seven to 10 minutes until it thickens up. And I switched over to a spatula. I wanna scrape the bottom of the saucepan so the custard doesn't burn on the bottom. My custard has thickened and now I'm gonna pour it over my white chocolate chips. And these white chocolate chips are gonna make this custard really nice and creamy. I'm gonna grab my whisk and just whisk this until that white chocolate is completely melted. And you want to do this as soon as your custard is cooked so it's hot enough to melt the chocolate. I'm going to cover my custard with cling wrap so it doesn't form a film over the top. I'm just going to drop it down into the bowl. And now that my custard is done, I'm going to get started on my pretzel and graham cracker crust. So I pulled some pretzels and graham crackers in a food processor until I had fine crumbs. And to these, I'm going to be adding some melted butter. Grab a spoon and toss this all together. Just spoon the mixture into the bottom of the cup. And now I'm gonna get started on my cheesecake filling. The first thing I'm gonna do is whisk my cream cheese. So I've softened at room temperature. I'm gonna drop it into my mixer bowl and just whisk it for a few minutes until it's light and fluffy. I'm gonna scrape down my bowl midway through to make sure that all that cream cheese gets whisked. And now I'm gonna be adding some fresh raspberries into my cream cheese. For some extra raspberry flavor, I'm gonna be adding some raspberry extract. I'm just gonna give the raspberries and the cream cheese a quick whisk. That smells so, so good. I love the smell of fresh raspberries. And now it's time to add my cooled custard. I'm gonna scrape down the sides of my mixing bowl to make sure that I get everything incorporated. And I'm gonna turn my mixer back on and whisk this until I have a nice and uniform mixture. And now that my raspberry cheesecake base is all done, it's time to grab my whipped cream. For my whipped cream, I whisked together some heavy cream and sugar until I had stiff peaks. Now it's time to combine these two together. So you wanna fold in the whipped cream very gently to make sure it stays really light and fluffy. I'm gonna transfer my filling into a pastry bag. Twist the top of my pastry bag, cut off the end. And now it's time to fill these. And I'm gonna set my dessert cups onto a baking sheet. And these are gonna go into the refrigerator and they need to set for about 45 minutes to an hour. And now I'm gonna get started on my jello layer. So I'm gonna to bring to a boil some water and I'm gonna add in some raspberry flavored gelatin. Stir this around until it's completely dissolved and add some cold water. I'm gonna let my raspberry jello cool off before I pour it over my cheesecake filling because I don't want that layer to melt. While I'm waiting for my jello to cool, I'm gonna add my raspberries. I'm just gonna drop these in over the cheesecake filling and just lightly press them in there. And now we're ready to add our jello. Pour it right over. I'm gonna set this into the refrigerator and allow that jello layer to set. It usually takes about an hour, or you could just leave them in overnight. And now it's time to dig in and enjoy these. And it looks so beautiful. Just the visual effect is stunning. I'm gonna scoop through to get some of those salty pretzels from the bottom. 
Mmm. This dessert is just divine. It melts into your mouth, and I love all the different flavors here. That sweet jello, and then you have that creamy cream cheese filling loaded with lots of fresh raspberries. When you get to the bottom, you have those salty pretzels. It's such a great flavor combination, and these beauties are definitely worth making at home. I hope you give them a try.